Well, today is uh, Wednesday, June 25th. It's a pretty uh, mellow day. I just knocked out uh, some various bass sounds for a song called Crack the Sky. Dude, Troy's, Troy's on the cover of Bass Player Magazine twice. I mean, <laughs> you don't get on the cover of a guitar magazine, you know, being a shitty guitar. I was trying to dial in like a real gnarly, dirty, neurosis-ish bass tone for this song, because it's probably the heaviest song on the record. And I think we achieved that. Uh, that's my Mesa Boogie 810 cabinet. I think it sounds good. That's where all the dirty sound comes from. Troy's always been a, a very good player. Ever since the day I met him, he was very fluent on the bass, and I and I really I really enjoy that about him and how how much he pays attention and how much he really, really puts a lot of thought into his, his, his playing, and he's, he's smart about it, you know what I mean? Now he's got that fucking Taurus, like, f foot keyboard and shit. I mean, I mean, we're just going crazy, like, we're, we're, we're you know, it's great. This right here is my new my new toy. It's a 1979 Moog Taurus synthesizer. Uh, it is totally badass. Getty Lee uses one. <laughs> Had any of this stuff before is because we just simply couldn't afford it. You know what I mean? I just I, I just couldn't go out and buy a three thousand dollar Taurus Moog uh, foot synthesizer. I just couldn't do it. But now you know, thanks to our hard work and dedication, we got a little bit of money to to, to buy awesome gear with and make and, and try to incorporate that into our music to make our music better. You know? Glorious. Currently, we are uh, throwing some smoothness. Some smooth bass on uh, the czar. It's going to be a lengthy process. It's only a 10 minute song. Trying to figure out uh, the right tone for the right parts, smooth everything out, and uh, get it real, uh, get it sounding real sweet on the pretty parts, and you know, finding that right growl on the heavy parts. Per usual, another day at the office. Just did several takes of the song "The Czar," and uh, we tried several different tempos to see what would bring the most rock. Yeah. And yeah. it's about a 10 or 11 minute song. So now it's gonna take like three or four hours to edit this thing. We'll talk some shop go through all this gear that I'm using to record uh, this record with. The old, uh, this is my Godlike Deity bass. Use this for all my, um, all the songs that are tuned up to D. It's got this uh, bright pop to it, but it's got this, whatever this wood is, it's got this real warm sustaining sound. So I pretty much use it on all the, all the songs tuned up to D. Recorded the entire Blood Mountain record with this one as well. So it's kind of like my go-to bass. Yeah, the old Godlike. It's fucking awesome. This is the best bass that I have that, that can actually can handle all that really low end in a gnarly sound, you know. So I use this Yamaha for all the all the songs that are tuned to A. Crack the Sky is tuned to A. And I'm not sure what other songs in A are gonna make the record, but so far Crack the Sky has got the Yamaha written all over it. This old P bass here 
belongs to the studio and it just wanted to come and hang out with these other cool guys just to hang out and get out of the closet for a while. So it's strictly here for aesthetics only. I don't even play it. Overseeing all of the parts, this is Yort. He's the ceramic god of bass. And I turned to him for guidance, basically, you know. I need to kind of sit. 